Hey YouTube, <clears throat> welcome back. We've got another exciting show for you today. As you can see behind me, I got it uh, all primered up, all finished welded. Now we're down to the final assembly. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited. All we got left is <clears throat> put it all back together, install the seat, install some brakes, bleed the brakes, drop it down on the ground. Besides that, it's gonna go by quickly. Let's get this over with. So when I went to install the left side, I learned that my lift was in the way. So I had to turn the whole bike around. <clears throat> I'll show you a quick, couple of clips of uh, what I did while you're gone. Let's go ahead and go to that. Now that you've seen all the trouble that I went through, I'm going to go ahead and install the right side first and then probably set it down on the ground and then install the left side um, with it already all holding in place. Otherwise I got to flip the whole thing around again which is a pain in the butt. So here we go, I got my trailing arm, I got my hardware, we'll go ahead and get this installed, get this thing on the ground. I really want to check out the suspension, see how it does under load. All right, now that we got that all locked down, let's go ahead and pop that shock on there. Boom. Put the lock in bolt on that one. Let's put our spacers in there. like a glove fits so tight alright here it is boom Racing shocks. Look how close we are in there. Fit up there real nice. Let's go ahead and do it to the other side. Get this thing on the ground. Get some brakes on it. Get this thing nailed out. Down the hill. Let's get it done. Before we move on, let's take a look from the back real quick. look real nice with those tires all mounted up all right doing this side, other side is gonna be a little tricky because there's a big arm in the way let me show you so this park lift is real nice and all but it's got this big arm that clamps on here and it's right in the way of my tie rod that's supposed to be trailing back my trailing arm it's 
to be right in the way over there. So we'll have to pull this thing down to uh, get it on. And uh, normally I have foam and whatnot in here to protect the frame and the paint. But uh, since this is a prototype, we're just going all out, just getting it done. Paint comes later. We're gonna put a few scratches on this thing as soon as it hits the mountain. All right, I changed my mind. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and install the tie rods now and put the wheel on the one side and go ahead and install the brake caliper on the one side. And then hopefully I'm gonna be able to set it down on the ground and it's gonna stand on those three wheels. If I have to, I'll wedge a, a lift or something underneath to, uh, just so I can get the other side bolted up. Um, that's all I can do right now. Um, keep it posted. All right, since I'm gonna go ahead and install the wheel on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and install the hydraulic um, disc brake. Uh, we're gonna run uh, Tektro. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount the wheel up and then install the disc brake for you. Do the other side, knock this baby out. Hi YouTube, I don't have the disc brake uh, caliper set up yet, but I thought you might want a little walk around now that I got it set down on the ground. 
and the um, suspension and everything sitting on itself. You can take a look already. Looks pretty sick. Let me flip up the seat for you. All right, here we go with the seat up. I have it folding for easy access so it fits in the car. <clears throat> but check it out. It's low, low slung, super speed, chariot of fire, gravity chair, four cross chair, QMX. That's what we call it. So let me go ahead and uh, finish this up and uh, I'll give you a full walk around and maybe I'll even transfer into it and uh, give it a little bounce, but we're getting close to the end of the show and getting close to wrapping up this bike. Can't wait until we hit the mountains. I could taste the dirt already. Can you taste the dirt? Oh yeah. All right, YouTube, before I give you the full reveal, I'm gonna go ahead and bleed the brakes. I also have to uh, remove the uh, throttle since we removed the motor. And, uh, and then put a new set of grips on there after I remove the throttle and then the other side so they have a matching set. That also brings me to the fact that I have an extra motor and I have an extra uh, rear swing arm and axle system. So maybe that leads to building another bike, one that is all electric, one that does is powered, maybe like a cross country style bike instead of a downhill bike like this one is, slope style, that's designed to be gravity driven or taken to the top of a mountain and let go. We can have another one that's cross country style that has the uh, brushless motor, has maybe a twist throttle on it, kind of set up like this. Uh, for a little bit longer distances or like national park somewhere where it's like a hiking trail where you actually have to go uphill so stay tuned maybe we'll do that build next uh, but for right now i'm going to go ahead and bleed the brakes uh, remove the grips add some new grips and then uh, go ahead and uh, mount up on this thing and uh, see if we can't give it a little whirl stick with us all right youtube we got some grip options we got some black AME or Amy grips. Kind of liking those. Goes with the whole scheme. Or I got some red ones. <clears throat> kind of feeling the red. The orange is on here right now. We got orange tires. But there are some red pieces. Um, I don't know. Black. Red. Got red down here on the shock. Some red grips. I don't know. Black. We'll just have to wait and see. First, let's go ahead and pull this throttle off. set this here and save it for later. Guess it's about time for a new one of these. Good thing we got the bike ready.
always got to tighten everything up on these disc brakes. Here we get right down in here. And zip tie it all up for now. Alright, here we are. Let me give it a try. pretty rigid. Well, YouTube, this wraps up another video. We installed the whole rear end. We installed the shocks. We did some painting. We installed new grips. We bled the brakes. We put new rotors on we put tires on we laced some wheels that's it for this project all we have left is to go ride it